Hello and welcome to Zovi Reviews. There are thousands of movies available on Netflix that many of us haven't watched yet. So in this video, we will reveal the top five must-see movies currently available on the streaming platform. With outstanding performances and engaging storytelling, these films transport you to different worlds, capturing your interest and leaving a lasting impression on your cinematic experience. So without further delay, let's look at these five movies from Netflix's enormous film collection. Number five, Love and Monsters. This is a 2020 monster adventure film directed by Michael Matthews. The narrative takes place seven years after a monster apocalypse that destroyed much of the planet, forcing people to take refuge in underground shelters to escape the enormous mutant monsters that now roam the Earth's surface. The story revolves around Joel Dawson, who lives in one of these shelters but feels lonely and unhappy. After reconnecting through a broadcast with his high school love, Amy, who now lives 80 miles away in a seaside colony, Joel decides to embark on a risky trek to reunite with her. Along the way, Joel encounters various terrifying monsters and makes new friends who teach him survival skills and give him the confidence to face the challenges of the monster-infested world. The narrative is filled with thrilling action sequences, personal events, and heart-stopping scenes. But it also has a surprisingly deep emotional core as Joel learns the meaning of bravery, relationships, and love. The film's inventive creature designs, seamless blend of humor, emotion, and action, and Dylan O'Brien's endearing main performance all contribute to its overall success. Number four, Shadow. This is a 2018 action drama film directed by Zhang Yimou. The film is set during the era of the nation's three kingdoms and skillfully combines stunning fighting choreography with political drama, all portrayed in a distinctive cinematic manner. The main character of the story is Commander Ziyu, who is severely injured in combat with the powerful rival King Yang Kong. Unable to fight, Ziyu assigns a shadow, a look-alike named Jing Zhou, to take his place while the real Ziyu recovers and prepares to take revenge on Yang Kong. The shadow undergoes covert training in combat and strategy as Ziyu. Throughout the film, Ziyu has to deal with the unstable King Pei, and the intrigues within the royal palace while masterminding a convoluted plan to retake the city of Jingzhu from the aggressive province of Yang. The action scenes are visually arresting, showcasing creative weapon concepts and fighting sequences that emphasize the yin and yang theme. The film features amazing cinematography that uses simple colors to provide an eye-catching effect. The cast's performances, especially Deng Chao in his dual role as Ziyu in Jingzhou, along with the creative direction and action technique, support the film's rich stylistic and narrative aspects. Number three, Fear Street, part one, 1994. This is a 2021 supernatural slasher film directed by Lee Janiak and the first in the three-part Fear Street movie series. The narrative takes place in Shadyside, a small town that has endured decades of horrific killings. The movie centers on Dina, her sibling Josh and their close friends Kate and Simon as they discover that the recent murders are connected to an ancient curse. It all begins when Dina's ex-girlfriend Sam encounters the ghost of Sarah Fear, an alleged witch from 1666, and strange and tragic events start to occur. To survive and break the curse, the group must uncover the sinister past of the town. However, as they learn more, they realize that Sam is the latest victim of the witch's curse which sets off a terrible chain of encounters with former Shadyside murderers. The film pays tribute to 1990s slasher flicks with its blend of terror and nostalgia and great character development. It strikes the ideal balance between violent horror and engrossing narrative, providing a promising beginning to the trilogy that concludes with a satisfying climax. It's a good choice for fans of horror and slasher films. Number two, The Atom Project. This is a 2022 science fiction action comedy film directed by Sean Levy. The narrative centers on Adam Reed, a jet pilot from 2050, who travels through time and accidentally crashes in 2022. There, he meets his 12-year-old self, who is still processing the news of their father's death. Together, the two Adams set out to save the planet from extinction and join forces with their deceased father, Louis Reed an exceptional quantum scientist whose research on time travel forms the core of the storyline. After overcoming various obstacles, Adam and his team confront Masaran, an entrepreneur who has used time travel technology to her advantage to become extremely powerful. 
Adam must now figure out how to stop her from taking over the world. The film explores themes of loss, reconciliation, and the value of family while fusing dramatic scenes with heartbreaking sequences. It fits the description of a traditional time travel movie, but is nevertheless a lot of fun because of Ryan Reynolds' performance, engaging action, humor blend, nostalgic nods to beloved sci-fi stories, and emotional core. If you haven't seen this yet, add it to your watch list. Number one, Hostels. This is a 2017 Western drama film directed by Scott Cooper. The movie takes place in 1892 and follows the story of experienced Captain Joseph J. Blocker as he receives orders to take Yellowhawk, a Cheyenne military leader, and his entire household to their Montana tribal territory. Despite his ingrained dislike of Native Americans, Blocker is compelled to complete the task. After his initial resistance during their travels, they meet Rosalie Quaid, a devastated woman whose family was killed by Comanche soldiers. After their early disagreements, the group grows closer as they confront obstacles and dangers as a team. During the voyage, Blocker faces his preconceptions and gains compassion for Yellowhawk and his family, which challenges his perspective. Overall, the film explores themes of redemption, forgiveness, and the ability of humans to change while providing an interesting representation of the American West. The film offers a raw and genuine experience thanks to its striking cinematography and strong performances from its characters, especially Christian Bale's portrayal of the troubled Captain Blocker. It's an unsettling trip through the complexity of the wilderness that forces audiences to face the terrible truths of the past while providing sympathetic human experiences. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.